Howdy, y'all. I'm so excited to share this message with you. In this video, I'm going to talk about the origin of Handshake. Hopefully afterwards, you'll not only understand why I'm so passionate about Handshake, but you'll also hopefully come to a realization of its impending greatness as well. Let's get started. First, there was Bitcoin. Then there was Handshake. Bitcoin is to money as Handshake is to the web. Bitcoin's origin is the most mythical happening of the 21st century. A more incredible story could not be made up. But let's see what you think about Handshake. To start off, Handshake has a narrow focus of decentralizing the DNS root zone for the web. This is the best attempt the world has ever seen to truly bring about a decentralized web. This is not an original idea, however. After creating Bitcoin to decentralize money, Satoshi's second suggested use case for blockchain was to decentralize DNS. Think about that for a second. This pseudonymous individual who is responsible for creating trillions of dollars worth of value by giving the power of the purse back to the people through cryptography was speaking about decentralizing DNS, aka decentralizing the web, back in 2010. There were attempts, of course. BitDNS turned into Namecoin, which never took off due to various reasons. There are also blockchain domains out there like .bit, .eth, and .crypto that are decent attempts at decentralizing the namespace, but are still limited and don't solve the very crucial problem of decentralizing the web by having the DNS root zone secured by a blockchain. One decade later, Satoshi's vision was finally realized through Handshake. Handshake's first block was mined on February 3rd, 2020, and there wasn't a company, foundation, or centralized team behind it. How can that be possible? Though there are tens of thousands of coins, tokens, and NFTs out there, the world hasn't seen this level of decentralization since Bitcoin. Let's look closer to how it happened. So in the beginning, there were founders that parted ways upon Handshake's launch. First, Joseph Poon was the design architect of Handshake's blockchain. Before that, he was the co-author of the Lightning Network, which is well known as being Bitcoin's most popular second layer scaling solution. Similar to the Lightning Network potentially creating billions, if not creating hundreds of billions of dollars worth of value to the Bitcoin ecosystem in the coming years, can Joseph Poon's ideas on Handshake lead to similar success? Next, Andrew Lee was one of the first entrepreneurs in the Bitcoin space when he founded Bitcoin's first prominent e-commerce platform called Purse.io in 2014. Purse mirrors Amazon in addition to conducting payments in Bitcoin at discounted prices. Over the years, Purse and Lee have funded open source developers to contribute to Bitcoin. And Chris Jeffrey, otherwise known as JJ, is the CTO of Purse and has a deep relationship with Bitcoin. A few years ago, JJ rewrote Bitcoin from scratch and JavaScript and what's known as Bitcoin which is a full node Bitcoin client. In November, 2021, he pulled the same feat by rewriting Bitcoin in the C programming language. Decentralization is a word often thrown around in crypto. And while there are several use cases for having Bitcoin in multiple programming languages, a primary one is preserving Bitcoin. If something were to go wrong with Bitcoin Core C++, other implementations would ensure Bitcoin's perseverance. And Handshake has these decentralized aspects as well. Long live Bitcoin and Handshake. Next up is Prince Andrew Lee. 
the founder of Private Internet Access, a well-known VPN service that later sold for $95 million. He also created the first mobile app for Mt. Gox called Mt. Gox Live. Essentially, was the first app where you could buy Bitcoin. Another historical fact, uh, BlockExplorer.com was the first block explorer for Bitcoin, hence the coining of the term. And Princely owns this premium domain. Uh, try visiting this website now. It focuses on Handshake. And before I forget, Andrew Lee was crowned Prince of South Korea back in 2018. And it's just another twist that makes the Handshake story that much more interesting. And it's still at the beginning. Now let's look at when funds were raised which ignited the precedent of altruism and giving to others. With the pedigree of the co-founders, they could have easily raised hundreds of millions as so many crypto projects have done before. But as I've alluded to, they wanted to follow the pure path of Bitcoin. Now, they did raise $10.2 million by the top funds in Silicon Valley, some of which are listed here. There is no centralization with this, however, since they were each allotted such small amounts. Basically, this is recognition of Handshake's ambitious goal to be the base of the decentralized web. What the founders did next is unique to Handshake, but the entire $10.2 million was donated to the open source software community with no strings attached. This really sets the stage of Handshake being altruistic and defined what the decentralized naming protocol was about, making the web better and rewarding those who have already been tirelessly working in that pursuit. Altruism is also baked into the blockchain in what's known as covenants. There are several ways for people to unknowingly be entitled to HNS, the cryptocurrency. For those that have a top 100,000 Alexa website, then you're entitled to various amounts of HNS. For the for those that had a GitHub account with 15 followers or more in 2019, you're entitled to 4,246 HNS. And over 200,000 open source developers are eligible for HNS allocation making this one of the largest on-chain airdrops in history. And if either of these apply to you, I have links in the description below. The purposefulness and altruism displayed in the beginning, along with the covenants, has also had an effect on the handshake community as well. This is the most collaborative and gift-oriented blockchain community that I've ever seen. And in my opinion, an example of humanity in its highest form. At the end of the day, handshake is love. And here are some parting words. Remember, there's no company or foundation behind handshake. There's just you, me, and the growing community. Be part of something great. Make the internet better, not just for yourself, but for your children and your children's children. Spread the word, write code, build a business, own h &S and handshake names, do whatever you can. Together, we will do it.